Good evening. This is going to be an important message addressing two groups of people watching this right now. So you can think of this as like a two in one package deal. <laughs> so let's address the first group. A lot of you watching me right now, you've really done your due diligence to expand, to work on yourself, to take responsibility for the way that you react to people and the world around you. You've learned how to surrender, how to exercise patience. You've really been putting in the work. And you might still be wondering, well, if I've put in the work, why is it that what I've been desiring hasn't manifested yet? The answer is very simple. You can do everything perfectly, but it doesn't mean that the universe is in a position to give you what you want. Why? Because it may not have it to give it to you. So I'll give you an example. Let's say that you're ready for a relationship. Right? You've really been putting in the work. You know how to communicate now. You know how to be in relationship with people. Well, the person that you end up with might still be in a relationship right now. So the universe wants to give you that, but it's like, hey, my hands are tied. I can't give that to you right now. So just keep allowing the process to unfold because as you know, there's a divine timing to all things in life. Now let's segue into the group number two. Group number two, you're stubborn. Okay, you've got to learn how to release your control. And it's not your fault. Most of us have been through a lot of traumas in our life. And so that trauma causes us to feel unsafe in the world. And as a result of this, we want to control everything in our lives so that we can feel safe. But just keep in mind that that sense of safety is completely false. It's keeping you stuck where you are. It's keeping you in a lower vibration. And because you're in a lower vibration then you're not aligned with your highest potential, okay? But we can, we can do that. We can adjust that. It's not difficult. So group number two, you might go to your job and complain all the time, huffing and puffing like, Ugh, I don't want to be here right now. Well, guess what? You don't have to be there. So shit or get off the pot, okay? The universe doesn't have a gun to your head saying you need to be there. But unfortunately, you're, you're still holding fear in your body and you think you have to be there. You don't believe that the universe will take care of you if you follow your dreams. So the solution isn't necessarily to quit your job. It's to fix your attitude, right? Go in with an attitude of gratitude, extend kindness to people, to yourself, be of service to people. And when you do that, you're of service to yourself. You're not being self-abusive. But when you're constantly complaining about your life or your relationship or your situation, then you're being hard on yourself, okay? You have to stop feeding into the negativity. You've got to release the negativity by taking responsibility for how you're showing up. Think of where you are right now as a boot camp to learn how to release your negativity. And when you release your negativity, you're going to float up like an air balloon and you're going to start to align with your highest potential. That's it. So whether it be a relationship, a job, whatever it is that you're dealing with, learn how to be grateful. Okay, try to understand that there are lessons concealed in your current situation that the universe is trying to impart to you so that you can raise your vibration and become a match to your heart's desires. And even when you raise your vibration, the universe still may not have what you want. But just like group number one, but at least you'll position yourself to be in the receptive mode to receive what you want. Does that make sense? A lot of people don't realize, but when you keep feeding into your fear, you're feeding into your own control. I'll give you an example. Let's say that you have a guy or a girl who's bulimic or has body dysmorphia. A lot of people have body dysmorphia. It's not your fault. Obviously, maybe you had a father that didn't uh, nurture you properly, that didn't love on you properly, and that traumatized you. And now the way that you feel safe in the world is you have to control what you eat. You have to control what your body looks like. I get that, okay? However, what are you doing when you're controlling everything? You're rejecting love because you're rejecting change. You're rejecting healing. If someone offers you constructive feedback, like, hey, it would be good for you to get help for this disorder or for the body dysmorphia, you're immediately gonna get defensive. Why? Because you're pushing away love. In your mind, you might think, well, I'll still attract love and someone's going to love me as I am. Eh, you're wrong. They won't. 
Because if you don't love yourself, how can someone love you? What are you going to do when the guy comes along and says, babe, let's go camping for a weekend and eat marshmallows? You're going to say, no, 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 I can't do that. I need my routine. I need to control everything in my life. So you're always rejecting love. So now you have to release that negativity by releasing your control. And as you do that, you allow a deeper transformation to happen within you. This is not easy work. You may need to have therapy. You, you may need to meditate. You may need to be bold enough and courageous enough to take the leap and trust that you'll grow from this and you'll become a better version of who you are. You're going to be less rigid, less stubborn, less defensive. You're going to start allowing love. But in order to allow love or to receive love, you have to get in the receptive mode. If you're always pushing away feedback or pushing away love because you're holding on to your old ways, then... Yeah, you're, you're, you're not, you're not going to be able to attract love or amazing opportunities in your life. Okay? So whether it be a job, a relationship, your control mechanisms, you've got to release that part of you that's constantly complaining or trying to control. That's it. Okay? No one's forcing you to be at your job. You complaining about it is you still trying to control things. Why? Because your choice is to either leave and follow your dreams or to stay and learn your lessons, how to be kinder, how to be more grateful. But no, you don't want to do either of those. You want to control the situation by complaining about it. So you're feeding those negative thoughts. As soon as you speak out loud, you're feeding that negativity and it's going to grow and grow and grow like a fungus and you're always going to be stuck. Okay, so at some point you've got to change your ways You've got to be open to change. You've got to better yourself as a person. And when you do that, you're going to float up like an air balloon and start to harmonize or align yourself with that higher potential. I hope that helps.